Alright, so now if you want to send Tableau files directly to the users, we have to ask the question, which type of files we're gonna send? Because in Tableau Desktop, we can generate not only one file, we can generate five different types of files in Tableau. So now we're gonna have like quick overview of those types of files to understand them and to know when to use them. All right, so as we learned, the Tableau workbook contains three things, the extract, the data source, and the visualizations. There is a file type for each combinations depend on your requirements. For example, if you want to share only your data without anything else, no data source, no visualizations, then you can send an extract as a hyper format. But now if you say, you know what, I've done a lot of work in the data source. I built a data model, I renamed stuff, I did aggregations, I created a lot of new columns. So I would like to share that with my team, with my colleagues. And I'm not allowed to share my data with them. So in this situation, you say, okay, I'm going to share the data source with my colleagues. And we call it Tableau Data Source, TDS without data. Or you might be in other situation where you say, you know what? My colleagues don't have an access to the source systems. We cannot use the live connection. And you don't mind sharing your data as well. So now you can send them a package of an extract and the data source. So the file type here called Tableau Package Data Source, TDSX. So this type of file contains both of your data and your data source. And we might be in another situation where our colleagues or users they are interested as well in the visualizations. So we can send them a file with the visualizations and the data source. And here again, we have the same situation. You decide whether you're going to send with it a data or not. So if you don't want to send the data inside it, you can send a file called Tableau Workbook, TWB. And the last scenario, I think you already guessed it. If you want to send everything, the whole package, the extract, the data source, and your visualizations, then you can go and send your colleagues a Tableau format called Tableau Packaged Workbook, TWBX. All right, so as you can see, Tableau did design different types of files for different purposes. So depend on the situation or the scenario that you have, you can share your work with your colleagues. All right, so now generally speaking, we have two different types of workbooks. A workbook with data using extract connection and another book without data using live connection. In one hand, in the workbook with data, you can send three different types of files. You can send only the data using hyperformat or send the whole data set with the data using TDSX format or send the whole package with the format TWBX. And in the other hand, with the workbook without data, you can send only two files, the data set without data, TDS, or the workbook WBX. And now you might have the question and you say, okay, which Tableau products should I use in order to open these Tableau files? Well, we have three Tableau products, Tableau Desktop, Tableau Public, and Tableau Reader. With the Tableau Desktop, you can open everything. You can open all these different Tableau formats and files, but with the Tableau Reader and Public, you can open only the Tableau Packaged Workbook, TWPX. Since Tableau Reader and Tableau Public cannot connect directly to the data sources and they cannot use the live connections. Alright, one more thing to understand about Tableau workbooks is that Tableau uses two different types of data to store the workbooks. The first one is the metadata information. It will be stored in XML files. Metadata is data about your data. It describes your data. It contains all informations on what have you done in the workbooks. Anything you click, drag and drop, or do while working with Tableau Desktop will be reflected in some way in the metadata. You can find informations, for example, like column names, data type, data model, and so on. And the second type is the data itself, the actual data. If you load data inside Tableau, Tableau gonna store it in a format of hyper file where the data gonna be stored in column store methods in the memory of Tableau. It is like special formats for fast data retrieval. All right, everyone. So with that, we have learned the purpose of the different types of files in Tableau and when to use them. And next, we will do deep dive in the Tableau architecture to understand the desktop components.